I'd lick the grief right off your lips. Oh, hi, kitty. So many cats. You do your eyes like Robert Smith. Sometimes it seems There's just something about that fresh cup of coffee in the morning when you're just about to write in your journal. And honestly, it's terrifying. Let's go to the corner store and buy some fruit I would do anything to get you out your room Just take your medicine and eat some food I would do anything to get you out your room it's I'm gonna write in my journal this morning, do some yoga and just enjoy the sun on this terrace. Like I just, it's so healing. Like the simple joys and light, like sunshine, coffee, bread, and dreams. Hello angels, wearing grace. I'm so excited to share my time that I had there with you guys. It was such a special trip for me where I learned so many things about myself. I'm gonna share all of like the beautiful things that I saw, tasted, um, but also the struggles as well. I had a bit of a rough time just getting to the island that I was staying. So here's the beginning of my trip and enjoy the video. Girl, girl, we have been struggling out here. It's been crazy. So today's the 31st of January. I had an air flight. I'm so tired. I had like two hours of sleep last night. I can't speak correctly. correctly. But um, my airplane was at 9.45. I was gonna take the train, because the train goes like directly from my apartment to the airport. Get there and then realize that France is on strike today and there's no trains. <laughs> oh, I bought this ferry from Athens to Naxos Island, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this giant boat. It's like Titanic. Okay. Okay. Is this it? What is this? Look at these cats. Hold on. Alright, I just woke up. <laughs> um, so last night I got here and like at a moment I started doubting if the place existed because I was like, I got off the boat, it was like freezing cold and then I had to go up all these winding streets and Google Maps was taking me like just all these different directions. I finally found it and then I was like, oh my god, like I came here because it's an island and I thought it was going to be warm but it's so cold. And this morning I woke up and the sun was shining and yeah it's a little bit chilly but I honestly feel like this is the best time to come to a place like this because on the off season there's like nobody here because people come for like the beach and stuff and when the sun's shining like today it's still like so nice just to lay in the sun so this share listeners brings me to my first lesson very very important lesson that i've learned on this trip is releasing expectations and outcomes i <laughs> took this trip thinking it was gonna be super warm and it was gonna be like a beach holiday and what i realized and i know this sounds so cheesy but i started telling myself that it was always sunny in my heart and this was a really great lesson for me that maybe i had this idea in my head of what it was going to be like weather-wise and everything like that but i can still 
enjoy it i think it's something that i can carry with me all the time and that you can as well that once we release and let go of you know attachment to expectations then we can really just enjoy the present moment for what it is I'm gonna write in my journal this morning, do some yoga, and just enjoy the sun on this terrace. I also got um, the next proof for the journal, the second journal in my capsule collection. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm releasing a 2023 journal capsule collection with affirmation line journals. And I just got the next one, and I think it's just so special that it gets to be like my journal for Grace. And especially like the theme around this journal is very empowering for me. Uh, so yeah, I hope all of you guys have gotten the first journal seal that it like is a part of your chapter in life. I'll link it down below. It's a really beautiful dreams come true journal. But this next one is really cool too. I'm super excited about it. And yeah, I'm just going to enjoy the sun. So I just want to share with you guys some prompts that I did this morning and then one big breakthrough that I had which is all obstacles are blessings in disguise to help us grow and level up and learn lessons. I think oftentimes when we're faced with an obstacle or challenge we'll see it as a negative um, because it in our mind is coming in the way of an outcome when in reality if you can look at sort of these challenges as a way of the universe trying to help you grow and learn lessons like it can seem painful but you know how we learn and grow in life is through adversity so every time i face the challenge i sort of look at it as a test you know whether that was the day that i had to take my airplane and there was the strikes or you know seeing that the weather report said it was going to rain all week it was just you know or things that are a little more difficult you know it's just sort of ways to help us level up and become a more expanded version of ourselves that's just something that i always want to remind myself of is like always see your obstacles as a blessing and the bigger the obstacle maybe like the bigger the plan that the universe has for you so yeah i um i came across a video and it said that the full moon is coming up the full moon is in leo and it's happening on my birthday february 5th and in the video um Lior Alexandre, who is a YouTuber I like, she shared some prompts. So I want to share some with you guys. Um, so here's some things I journaled about this morning and I think could be interesting for you guys as well. What do I really need right now to feel good? What do I really need right now to feel good? So for me, I wrote that, okay, I know I need coffee, I need yoga, and I need to meditate and be silent with myself. And that's also why I'm so grateful for solo travel because I know that if I was traveling with other people, they want to be like going out and discovering this and that. And I think there's a time and place for that, but I know that what really makes me the happiest is silent time with myself. Then the next one kind of is a heavy hitter and it's what feels like a death, but is actually a portal to newness. I love that one because I think as well, like I was talking about with obstacles, sometimes, you know, in life there's cycles and we are we go through these cycles to learn and oftentimes we can see them as you know a negative but in reality they every closed door is a chance to open a window or i forgot how the expression goes but um yeah so just what ask yourself ask yourself in your own life currently what is the death that you're experiencing in some sorts and how can you shift the perspective and see it as a portal to newness and then the last one, which is also a heavy hitter, is what fear keeps coming up that wants to be loved on or, you know, shifted in perspective. And this is what really like led me in my meditation this morning is working through those fears. And sometimes it can be uncomfortable doing that and facing those. For example, I came up with this thing that I said about seeing obstacles as a blessing. Um, but I feel like if you don't work through those fears, they're just gonna come up in your day-to-day -day life. But if you actually face them during your meditation or time alone, you really allow yourself space to heal. 
So I just wanted to share some of those prompts and um, breakthroughs I had this morning. I hope that some of the prompts can help you when you're journaling to just feel more connected to yourself and yeah, maybe work through some things as well. <laughs> I just love the way that the houses are shaped. I can't wait to show you the architecture. Like me becoming like a, a travel YouTuber. <laughs> I love it. It's like almost all year I do like, I'm like art studio and stuff. And then once a year I'm like, let me turn into a travel YouTuber. <laughs> okay. I literally can't believe that shit. My phone just fell off like two stories <laughs> and it's still working. Ah! This guy is crazy. Life is crazy. Angels and God are crazy in a good way. Thank you for the blessings. Hello, man. So I'm out wandering for the first time. I love just wandering with no agenda the first few days that I'm in a place because I think that's when you find like the most unexpected cool things. I got like a little spinach, a little spinach cake <laughs> and cheese. It's so good. I'll show you guys if I see anything beautiful. I'm sure I will. Oh my gosh, like this. Look at this, the top of this church. cute villages to explore on this island but like I said the first day whenever I'm at a place I like to just not have an agenda um it's good look, look. I'm sorry oh, you're scaring me a little bit I've never seen a cat act like that kind of remind, well actually it reminds me of when I went to Morocco the cats there are like very aggressive and um yeah I guess he's probably looking for food but I don't have any food cat they reminded me actually like me and this cat on the beach reminded me of like I don't know if you guys have seen Jurassic Park when the girls like playing on the beach and then all of a sudden there's like one tiny little velociraptor dinosaur that comes and she's like oh cute and then they all come and then they like kill her that's what that cat reminded me of I was like don't bring your friends buddy don't bring your friends So I just went to the grocery store and got some things. It's surprisingly super cheap. I don't know why I thought it would be expensive, but it's very cheap. And I came back to this gorgeous view. Oh my gosh, I just, I can't believe the, the colors. Also, it's a little bit dark, so I don't know if you can see, but I love how every little house has like a rooftop. I think that's so cool. I just imagine like everyone hanging out on the rooftops, you know, and like having dinner between houses and yeah. I just can't believe how cute this place is. Like you go up the stairs, the street is down there. This is where I dropped my phone earlier. The street's down there and then they have like this little 
um, a cute little cafe down there that I think I'm gonna try out tomorrow. And you've got these very these tiny winding stairs and then you get to this like terrace area. Sorry I'm doing like the tour at night, but yeah. And then I have like a little window and then this area too. And then the inside, <laughs> it's like a mess, but I'll show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys that another day, I think. Um, another thing I just wanted to talk about because I think that it's something, I haven't updated you guys on this and I talked about it before, um, but for 2023, one of the things that I really wanted to try to do is to be sober the whole year, which is a huge, <laughs> huge deal for me because if you guys know me and you watch this channel, you know how much I love red wine and I've always associated like going on vacation with drinking not like getting fucked up but like having a nice glass of wine and so I even asked myself I'm like well since it's you know the holidays oh this is the cute little cafe you can kind of see it I'm like since it's you know vacation are you going to drink and I decided that I wasn't going to because I just I think that the more you challenge yourself and the more that you set a goal and you reach that goal, the more confidence you gain. And I think it's important to me to show myself that I can do this. And I feel like, you know, after this year is over, maybe I'll go back to just having a drink from time to time. But I just realized in 2022 how much alcohol was sort of a bad thing in my life. Um, not all the time, obviously I had some good times, but, um, but there was always that like 10% of the time where it was like dangerous and not great or like do you know what I mean and I was like a I think sometimes I'd use alcohol to distract myself from being bored or anxious and so I'm really trying to this year challenge myself and deepen my spirituality and healing by being sober the whole year and so yeah I decided this trip as well since we're still in 2023 <laughs> that I would keep up with that um, so yeah, basically what I'm saying is like this is the first trip that I've been on, really, <laughs> since I'm an adult where I'm not drinking at all, sober the whole time, and I think it's just going to force me to be more present with myself, which I'm excited about. <laughs> I know, I seem super excited, <laughs> but um, yeah, so to, I've been two months sober now, which is actually pretty crazy. Um, the longest I've been that sober was when I was in Iceland. I did like a whole dry month and it's not, I don't even really think about it anymore. I don't really care. I don't miss drinking. It's just more like times like these when you're on vacation, you're like, oh, like be nice to have a glass of wine on my terrace. But at the same time, I think that it's more important to me to keep up with this challenge that I set for myself. So anyway, I just wanted to share that because I wanted to update you guys on that. And yeah, I'm gonna make some dinner now. And maybe I'll eat it out here. Oh, do you guys want a grocery haul? I'll show you everything I got and how much it cost. <gasps> I just, I can't. I can't. Also on that note, it might be interesting to know that like this Airbnb was like super inexpensive. Obviously because it's February too, it's off season. But um, I'll link it down below in case some of you guys maybe want to stay here because honestly, I haven't like been in Naxos that long to say that like I really like it or not yet. Um, so far, good impression, but um, besides it being a little bit chilly. Um, but yeah, I'll link the Airbnb in case you guys like love the, the look of the rooftop. Even like the shower has like those really cool forms. So I'll link that. But let me show you guys what I got all for 25, 25 euros. All right. Greek Island Grocery Haul. Here we go. I got some zucchini, bell peppers, because I love to like, as you guys know, if you're like a Purple Palace, <laughs> a Purple Palace regular, you know, I love to grill these up. Onion, tomato, um, pasta sauce, very basic. Um, pasta, I don't even know what this yogurt is. I was hoping it's Greek yogurt, I fucking no idea. So we'll see. That's like one of the instances where you're like, well, I hope, hoping for the best. I love these little chocolate digestive. Um, some feta for my salad. Um, this fig balsamic sauce I wanted to try. So yeah, all of this I felt like for 25 euros wasn't bad. Especially like getting, you know, 
this kind of stuff is pretty expensive typically in France. Like when this would cost like eight or nine bucks euro. Um, even like cheese and yogurt and everything like that. So I just wanted to share that, that it's very inexpensive, I find, to eat here. So yeah, I don't think I told you guys or not, but this is my first time being in Greece. I've just always wanted to visit, like ever since seeing Sister of the Traveling Pants, <laughs> Santorini, and then when I was researching, I found this island next to Santorini called Naxos. And um, it's supposed to just be like more, like less touristy, less touristy less touristy and um especially since i'm here in february it's really really empty which i like i like exploring when there's no one around um, yeah i'm excited to explore more i want to like find out the little villages um to see and i'm working well in here but you know i feel like something i realized is like since i am i guess like a digital nomad i can work from anywhere and i you know Going to another country is always a bit challenging even you don't know the language. Like even going to the supermarket, I probably spent like an extra 30 to 40 minutes just because, yeah, like obviously nothing's written in English. I'm guessing on what I'm getting a lot of the times. Um, and I like when I travel as well to show the good and the bad too, just because I think it's more realistic and attainable when you realize that like traveling isn't about just like living your best life, but also challenging your ideas and, um, and being stimulated in a new way, you know? Like that's how we realize that the world is a lot bigger than just us, so. Yeah, I, another thing that I would definitely recommend is like, when you guys, when you guys travel, always try to get like a rooftop. I think like my last birthday as well, I went to Cassis and I think what made it so good was just like having that outside space. That's something I don't have in Paris that I wish I did, but I don't. Um, so it's really important to me to always get one. And even that way, like even if, you know, you don't vibe with the city itself, you have that like outdoor space. But you know, obviously this is gorgeous. I'm super glad that I'm here. And I'm also traveling alone as always. I I can't support, um, that's how you would say it in French, je ne peux pas supporter. I can't um, travel with other people. <laughs> I'm making myself sound so difficult. But I, I literally can't just because I feel like I want to be free to be on my own and it also opens you up to meet a lot of other people. While I'm here, I'm editing um, my new music video. I have a, my song, my new song called Sensitive Bitches coming out the 24th. Yeah, I'm excited for you guys to hear it. It's gonna be really cool. So I'm working on the music video for that. So you guys can pre-save that, pre that if you wanna see it. I'm also working on my second journal that's coming out. So yeah, I'm basically more of like a day adventure. Like I like to be out when the sun is out. And obviously like I'm a solo traveler and it's quite cold at night so i'm not like going out at night i also think it's a good way to save money to just like go places during the day and then stay in at night um so yeah some first thoughts i wasn't necessarily planning on vlogging while being here Oof. i wasn't necessarily planning on vlogging while being here but i always find myself wanting to just because you know when you are solo traveling it feels like you're sharing it with somebody when when yeah you are filming so okay i'm gonna make some dinner and i'll see you guys later Thank you.